you toe to toe I should be scared, honey, maybe so But I ain't worried about it right now I'm at my best when I got something I'm wanting to steal Way too busy for the problems and problems to feel Yeah, yeah, no stressing, just obsessing with stealing the deal I think it in and let it go But I ain't worried about it right now Keeping dreams alive, 1999 <laughs> <laughs> This is Magellan's cross. This is where Magellan first put the original cross when he baptized the original people that live here, which is Datum Humagon or Raja Humagon. Supposedly, the original cross is encased in this one. The reason that they have to encase it is because Philippines are so religious that they would take pieces of the cross, boil down and drink it as tea <laughs> or take it as a talisman, as a, a charm. Well, this is the first stop in our uh, self-guided tour. I actually don't know where the next stop is. Fun fact! You'll see that there's a lot of ladies here praying because yes, you're supposed to pray for yourself and it's powerful to pray for yourself but it's even more powerful if someone else prays for you. So if you buy a candle, they will pay for you. Oh. Well, I want to buy a candle. So this one's for you, Mom. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need somebody to pray for me. Um, ito sir, 90 sir. 90? Lahat? <laughs> oh, 90 naman lang ni sir. Are you gonna pray for me? Yeah. yeah. Christian name. Uh, Christian. 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 Kumita na eh. this Cebu here which is a darker skin Santo Nino because the original one that was brought here by Magellan it was burnt down when Miguel, de, Miguel Lopez Legaz, de Legazpi burned down Cebu and therefore the recovered Santo Nino was slightly burnt and got the darker skin 
And now whenever you see a festival, you see there's something new to be darker skinned than other something you have seen before. Hmm. Look that way. So we are at the Basilica de Santo Nino. I went to church, Mom. Well, unfortunately, the explanations are not on there right now, so I don't know who they are. But I am guessing this is Lapu Lapu. This is definitely Lapu Lapu. They see. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we're talking inside uh, the Yap ancestral house, but it was um, an ancestral house. All right, uh, showing but examples of the influence that yes. Filipinos got from the Chinese, Spanish, Americans and mexicans yes like all the the types of clothes like i know i've seen those clothes before but no it just never really clicked in my head right. why filipinos wear certain clothes especially uh ancestral clothes and seeing the the spanish and the mexican uh influence so um not just clothes those all the all the wood carvings how they built the house um, all the furniture. Right, the house had uh, Chinese carvings, Spanish uh, windows, and European ceilings. Yeah. And then the Americans. The Americans came and uh, had a bunch of influence on the archi Ooh, architecture. architecture and furniture. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Yep, ancestral house. But Everybody just gets 
award, military award. trying to go here Jesuit house it's closed next time if you want to know what it is all this cool. hidden in plain sight not just a warehouse yeah and legitimately like you look in there there's just a guy see it's just Tomorrow, it's closed. History, touch history. that uh, Vicky was talking about that uh, Leon Kilat would pretend that uh, he got hit by a cannon and gets back up on his horse mm. because he knows how far the range of the cannons were when he would put decoys out he would see how far the rounds would be and he would pretend that he would fall off his horse and he gets back up <laughs> and since he's wearing that vest yes, saying that yeah. this makes me immortal follow me troops and more um, the morale of his troops would go up. As you can see, the fort is a triangle. Behind us here is the port of Cebu. This is where we left to go to Bohol. And then out there, up in the distance, you can see the mountains. Over there is the longest bridge oh, yeah. in the village. Boom, right there it is. For Asia, I think. Maybe the you can barely see it, but there's the longest bridge, at least in the Philippines. Not guys. It closes at 4 30. Yeah. Uh, kind of like the Jesuit house. It closes at 4. Okay. Uh, oh well. Maybe next time, guys, when Matt is here, we'll bring him in there. up a super long day doing uh, our own tour we didn't get a tour guide uh, we decided to just tour around uh, Cebu City saw a bunch of historical stuff uh, that you just watched uh, behind me so we're at actually SMC side mall oh God, we, you know, we, that's a whole video in itself you go to any SM mall they're enormous uh, but we got the longest bridge in at least the Philippines behind me and, uh, yeah, we just ate some bololo and some fish in a bowl. And, like, to get back to the taxi cab area, it's like a 20 minute walk. <laughs> just <laughs> inside just the, mall. the mall. The mall is just, it's too big. It's not like we're lazy, it's just that we walk <laughs> everywhere to get it's to those locations. It's too big. Anyway, uh, yeah, 
cheers to a good rest day. Uh, next up should be hopefully uh, sardine diving. Fun. We'll see. Walking down the road Tell me how long you gonna stay here, Joe Some people say This town